Um, Joe's gonna try another two of these. Got two of them yesterday. strips of tape on them. I don't like my boxes having all that tape. Two box break. Right, here we go. Let's see what you get, Joe. Surprised they didn't let you know what the mystery was when you redeemed it. Wind chill is zero today. That's hot for you, right, Keith? Zero degrees. A one of one. Seems like the top box always has a one of one. Have you noticed that? Joe Biden. Let's see if it's over here. Negative 45. Yep. One of one again. This one's James Polk. Taking a poke. What well, celebrity died? Ed Ram. Yeah, John, that's the luck of the die. I didn't think about that, but you're right. If we'd have rolled the other side for the division, and then the one of one would have went to the cereal. Which would have been you? <laughs> Luck of those die. The Titanic. Jumbo Relic. Oh yeah, Cindy Williams from Laverne and Shirley. I saw that. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> then Prince Charles, Queen Elizabeth. What is this? Queen Elizabeth II. Some chunk from something. Is Penny Marshall still alive? Washington, something from the 1700s. I got a feel. I thought for sure he'd play one more season. He didn't have his swan song when he went out. You know, he hugs all the players and all that after every game. Zach Taylor.
Thomas Jefferson. Getting all these old, big, fat chocks. Wanted roommate. <laughs> I have roommate ads in here. You can make uh, $10,000 a week by placing tiny little ads in the newspaper. I forget that guy that used to advertise that. He went from living in a one-bedroom apartment to living in a mansion from placing tiny little ads. Pablo Picasso and Jumbo Relic of Titanic. You'll be able to put the whole relic back together there. Everything they cut up, Joe, from the Titanic. George Herbert Walker Bush. Mm -hmm. Relic. Yeah, there used to be an infomercial guy that would come on and do that all the time. He, he lived in a one-bedroom apartment. He would place tiny little ads, and he was making like 10000 a month or something doing it. I forgot what his name was, though. George again. What was the other George? There's one 900 numbers in here. Advertising one 900 numbers and sports betting. DraftKings has an ad on that. <laughs> James Buchanan, not numbered. Crack dice relic. Who's the big player to get in series two tabletop? James Buchanan again. Uh, that Ed Ram, they randomly put cut autographs. You can find these fossil teeth and stuff like that. Allegedly, we haven't seen any yet, but allegedly that's where they, they hide them in here somewhere. That's a duel, Mark Twain and Charles Dickens. The Dickens, you say. And Nelson Mandela. Mm-hmm. Stock bonds or whatever they are, Andrew Carnegie. Asian. Jumbo and a dual relic, Barack and Michelle Obama. Something from there. Something. It's something from something. One year with the Commanders. That's where Tom goes. Buzz Aldrin. Another one of those big chunks. Andrew Carnegie. John D. Rockefeller. Oh, he did. And Rosa Parks. Six left. Joe, I hope you hit a cut, man. At least one cut. I prefer to see the tooth, but I hope we get at least one cut.
Claude Monet and Vincent Van Gogh. Is he the one that cut his ear off? Vincent Van Gogh again. Claude Monet again. He just got back to back, same dudes, different kind of relics though. Mm-hmm. It's coming from two different cases though, not the same case. I keep going side to side. This one has writing on the bottom. Cornelius Vanderbilt. I don't know if that's something he signed or something they cut part of it off. I don't know how that worked. And Harry Houdini. Harry Houdini. Enzo Ferrari. Must be the I am Ferrari. Some sort of patch. Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo or Michelangelo. Double relic, last chance here, Joe. Bonnie Parker, Clyde Barrow. Bonnie and Clyde. Damn, these autographs are hard to find in here, Joe. I don't know what to tell you, buddy. I appreciate the breaks, though.